start with the overrated, underrated Sherlock Holmes Phantom of the Opera edition. Sherlock Holmes as a character. Perfectly rated, the quintessential Victorian detective needs the founder of the archetype. The character of the Phantom. Underrated, a little goes a long way. The use of deduction in detective stories. Underrated. Not used as often as you'd think, especially in more modern versions. The romantic subplot between Christine and the Phantom. Overrated. It's not romantic. It's obsessive. You see that in Harley Quinn and Joker. <laughs> the influence of Victorian literature on modern storytelling. Underrated, because you have no idea how much of the Victorian literature, like romances, are still underpinning books today or even films today. The role of music in The Phantom of the Opera. In most media adaptations, underrated. A lot of them don't really do the music, it's just to go straight for the horror, or they'll do like little pastiches here and there. Well, there's like some adaptations where the music really does drive point. There's like some adaptations where we'll actually will use the opera as mentioned in the original novel, like Faust, to help tell the story. And then, of course, you have the musical, you know, the big Andrew Lloyd Webber musical, which, of course, music and songs drive the plot. Watson as a sidekick to Holmes. Underrated. He does not get enough credit playing the Nigel Bruce portrayal from the Basil Rathbone films. The concept of obsession in both narratives. I would say it's underrated, especially in Holmes, because Holmes is driven. He can be very, very driven. And of course, the talks of obsession of Phantom Torch Christine tends to get ignored in more modern adaptations. Adaptations of Sherlock Holmes in film and television. There's really no bad Holmes with one exception, and that's the Will Ferrell version. <sighs> So dumb, it's brilliant. No! It's just dumb! Yes. That one was just bad, period. I will say, I do think the Bag of Cumberbatch version is a little overrated, but that's still a pretty good version. Yeah, for modern times, I think it's a good version. I'm a Jeremy Brett fan myself, so... Yes! <laughs> the legacy of both Sherlock Holmes and The Phantom in pop culture today. Perfectly rated, because... These guys, no matter what, no matter every few years, you have a Sherlock Holmes adaptation or you have a Phantom adaptation. They're there. They're not going away. 